the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Uh, I'm glad that I hope everybody had a great week and this is Sunday and what I want to do is go into the Word of God and the uh, title that you know I don't know if you've seen it the, the one I sent out earlier was the one that was talking about don't let someone convince you that you're not saved and and I, I think it's important it's critical at least for the a believer to come into the body of Christ I understand that this is a free gift. There's something that, 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 that's given to you freely and all you have to do is come to the knowledge and understanding of Jesus Christ. Just believe, you know what I mean? There's it's, it's no work involved with this. And then when you believe to come in, don't let someone, <laughs> look at it, don't let someone believe you out of the body of Christ because you're not meeting all the criteria they think you should meet. It's, it's not about them. See, it's freely given by him. Hey, glory to God. I'm serious because that's very important. Because of the paintings. But I still, I was talking to somebody yesterday. I said, regardless of how these different, well, I don't know about black like Hebrews, but I'm talking about at least for Christianity, is that the word still stayed intact, which is what we're reading today, right? That That's the key piece there. There's no boasting in, in the, uh, as far as the Bible is concerned, there's no boasting of the flesh. There's no, it doesn't matter what color you are. No, it, it really doesn't. I mean, uh, I, I don't see, I don't remember anything, any scripture that denotes the color of a person's skin other than leprosy. Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> and, 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 uh, it's, it's imperative that we we look toward the heart of people. Yeah. Because you never know who you're dealing with. I know it. And it, 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 it goes you right back. Know. You never know. I mean, there's people that I've grown up with that I would never even think to even bring up the gospel to. Yeah. because of their lifestyle and yet they are strong after the Lord you know? yeah you know what I'm saying yeah and then I, I, and, I mean a, that's I, probably you know uh, a, a giant group of people that grew up with me was are probably amazed that <laughs> I'm in the position that I'm in. <laughs> they probably were, right. right based on my life exactly. uh, my earlier life right uh, <laughs> That person that that's been buried, but but uh, but so, so the bottom line is though because we're going too far off. I want to make sure we get the, this word in before we go. Is that his people have been ran off for different reasons, uh, and I even had let you know that even the scripture said is going to happen, right? You know, this is in. Uh, I will show it to you. This. Look at this, the, about the second Thessalonians. I'll put that up for you. <clears throat> that it was going to happen. It's, so you see, the, can you see that scripture? Yeah. yeah. If, if you want, you can read it. Um, it's a reading from one through, let's say, five. Or six, excuse me. Okay. Now we beseech you, brother. By the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, well, or be troubled, well, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as for us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Well, Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that
that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember, remember ye not, that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Uh -huh. <coughs> Are now you, and now you know what would hold it that he might be revealed in his time. Yeah, I think even that verse six probably good. Six, seven and eight probably good too. Danger. That whole thing is talking about Satan anyway, and the Antichrist. Yeah. 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 But you see that great falling away is there, right? Or at least the falling away come. And, and, and that's, that was going to happen. And that's the concern that at least I have is if we don't make sure we get the people to understand the word of God and be solid in the word of God, we know people have fallen away. We know people have walked away. We know people got offended and left. And I, I wanted to, um, that's what our topic you and I was talking about Thursday, about only nobody convince you that you're not saved. Because some people, have been because of words i think even that scripture was talking about what the first one verse two he said neither he said like you said that you be not soon shaken in mind because that's all about a mind game right or be troubled yeah. and this is what we're talking about or be troubled neither by spirit so therefore you know you know the warfare the spiritual warfare nor by words and this is where it comes from other people <clears throat> challenging you quest making you the question Know by letters as from us, as to the day of the Lord Christ in the hand. And and when I was talking to uh, you and I was talking, I think we talked Thursday, is that when Jesus was tempted in the uh, wilderness, <clears throat> the devil was trying to just throw doubts at him, right? You know, if thou be the son of God, right? You know, yeah. and, and, and that's, if the enemy will come after Jesus, then the scripture did say it was temptation, right? That was temptation. <clears throat> and you can't be tempted. You can't call it temptation unless you can be tempted to do otherwise. So if he comes after, if he came after Jesus, we know it will come after a believer. And especially a, what I call a babe in Christ, right? They, they, if, if we don't get them in and, and disciple them, it's so easy for them to get offended and be uh, walk away. <laughs> that's that's how I look at it. And the, yeah. and the count, huh? Well, you know, if you read on down, you know, it says that God is going to send a strong believer. Yeah, I know. That they should believe a lot, but now we were talking. This is <laughs> this is showing those people who are not who has not received the love of truth of the truth. You saying this this for unbelief? <clears throat> well, these are. I mean, there there are people who believe in God, and they may believe in Jesus Christ. Right. They don't believe that all this is based in love, the love of God, and that those first two commandments, in my mind, are, are basically what's going on here in this particular case. Uh -huh. That these people that don't, don't, don't keep those two, then those are the ones who are going to accept this, this delusion right. and believe a lot. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I so, see. I mean, you got to go right back. You will know them by the love they have for one another. For one another, yeah. You know, and and this 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 these commandments are serious. Yeah, that's true. And I, even at verse you twelve, know, I mean, they yeah. have to be. If these first two fulfill all. Then they, I mean that says something. That's yeah, because love love is a powerful uh is a powerful force, right? And if you can't love one another, then you could be drawn into this uh 
to fall in the way. You know, and, and in even verse 12, you said that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, yeah. but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Now, so in other words, they even, there's another piece there, right? They, they have pleasure in unrighteousness. Yeah. They, they either they have pleasure in hate. Uh, and I think that's probably what I was say. A boasting, a pride. Uh, they, they, that's how people are drawn away. And, and they will believe a lie. And that's why, that's why it's so important that I think of ministering the gospel, going out there and ministering the gospel. We don't do that. We, we're missing out. We're missing out our responsibility. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, there, there is, I think there is a, a hindrance in that because from just my experience, I've gone to local churches and have not seen Christ, but I have seen the fivefold ministry. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I, I've seen I've seen pastors, I've seen preachers and teachers and, and, you know, prophets and evangelists and so on and so forth. When I've gone to local bodies, because the focus is on them. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I have not seen Christ. <sighs> yeah. You know, um, when everything is, 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 it's catered to those who are in leader leadership positions in the body. Mm. When when it's been flipped to where those who are to be servants are now you, you know being served. Which I'm saying is that these people in so called leadership positions are to serve those that are in the congregation by equipping them right to do the work of the ministry and it's like they they can't let that go and they want to do the work of the ministry and they want everybody to bring those members into that church yeah yeah and it's not the way it's designed it's designed that you basically go to school to go out and go to work. Yeah, that's what it's designed for. Yeah. And the, the the confusion and the and the, the disconnect is that everyone thinks that 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 church is is where God is, is where you know. It, I, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know exactly how to put it in the words, but there is a disconnect. Yeah. There is a misproportion of misproportion of focus, and the focus is on the church and the pastors or the teachers or the ministers or whoever you want to call them, whoever they call themselves in these these positions, and the focus is on them. Now, they may mention Jesus Christ and they may give him glory, honor, and praise, but they're taking some of that for themselves. Yeah. And they're putting themselves in the position of Jesus Christ, which is, by all means, anti Christ. And that, that's called, that allows the up falling away then, doesn't it? And so, without that, principle stone in its proper place the building is not built on a rock mm. so it will fall it must fall because the storms will come deep and it's sad and it breaks my heart because i'm watching this falling away yes i'm watching people gravitate toward 
a false representation of the children of God. Um, I'm watching Jesus Christ being misrepresented. Mm. misrepresented. I'm watching poor demonstrations of the power that is given to people to share the gospel. Mm. I'm watching a lack of the gospel being taught. I'm looking at the body, the local body, becoming a business. Yeah. Ah. So I can go on and on and on, but what I do know is that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, and it is the foundation of what we stand on. Exactly. And if you come any other way, yeah, then you are on the broad road that leads to destruction. And that and that that's why we want that's why you want laborers, right? To go out there and, and minister this gospel. Uh and in my fact, the laborers are few. Yeah. And we just gotta keep praying for more laborers and ourselves and using forums and, to get the word mm -hmm. out. And <laughs> oh yeah, and, and that's what it's all about. You know, it, it's got it's got to uh, it's got to be plain, and it's got to be direct. Yes. And it's got to point to Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. And 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 and, and that's it. And, and but it's got to start in love. It does. And that's the, that's the foundation right there. You know. it, it does. And I think I think and and you know. Uh, we just encourage brothers, uh, don't, don't, uh, at least right now, because we got so many things that's been pulling the saints, Christians away, uh, the falling away is happening, or the, the, I may call it the dry run. You know, I think we may be seeing, even with this, the, some of the division you see today, it, it, it could be a dry run or prelude to where things are gonna go bad in this world. And especially after the Holy Spirit is moved, leaves and takes, hopefully, no, no, leaves and take us with them. <laughs> uh -huh. Those who believe, but then we we got a long ways to go. And I just want to be able to encourage people. It's a free gift. Nobody can take it from you. No man can judge you. It's Him, and let Him work with you. Amen. Uh -huh. All right. I pray real quick. I just want to pray. So we close out. Father, I thank you for this opportunity for us to come and worship. Praise your holy name. I pray, Heavenly Father, those who have listened to our discussion today, but with using the word of God, I pray that even the words we put up on those slides, let those words be the foundation. Let the words, let them walk away with the words more than any of the conversations or the byproducts of what we say, but what the word says. That's their foundation. That's where their hope is their justification, their righteousness, my righteousness, my justification, who I am is freely given to me through Jesus Christ. So everyone that's listening today, Father, all I ask is let them take away with that understanding that they have received a gift freely and that no man can judge them and take that gift away. But I pray that they all stay in the word just like Brother Azza said, you got to have an empty cup and you got to allow the Holy Spirit to be able to feel the knowledge and revelation that God gives us if we just allow ourselves to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Protect us until next time we meet and continue to strengthen us in the Word of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Man, I'll get it. You said feel. You know, it's, I think that's in the scripture somewhere, right? Being filled. Yeah. Woo! I gotta see. I gotta be. I gotta be empty of the world things so I can be filled. Woo! Amen. Wow. Okay. God bless you. I give it going. I'm giving it to myself. All right. You be <laughs> blessed, brother. All right. You too. Bye bye. Hey, y'all. Uh, the please as we close out. I mean, like, wow. <laughs> I, I mean,
Lee, I believe we're closing out with something that I wanted to, 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 to just start meditating on and let you meditate on as well. Being filled with the Holy Spirit. And you got to be, to be filled with the Holy Spirit, you got to be empty of the things of this world, of the spirit of this world, of the enemy of this world. You got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to be filled and indwell. We are the temple of, the, of God. By the Holy Spirit. We're connected because of the Holy Spirit. So we, we could, I mean, golly, just understand this. Justification is freely given. And that's what I love about the gospel. That's what makes me excited. See, I am I am more than a car. I'm a child of God freely. I'm justified freely. <laughs> it's just like a child. Mine, you can't take it. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you feel. I don't care what you're thinking about. It's freely given. And because of that free gift, I can change. Not because of you, not for your approval, but for his. <laughs> Not because you you want me to be a certain way. No, it's because of love for myself, love for my brothers. You know that that, that great commandment. It says to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy strength, all thy mind, and to love thy neighbors thyself is understand as a free gift, freely given. So you should freely give somebody else. I want you to have a great week. I enjoy those who had took time to listen and those who will listen later. God bless you. And you have a great, great week. And uh, the Lord be with you. Amen. <laughs>